Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly add comments to Google Docs. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in Google Docs. Commenting on Google Docs is straightforward to do, but can be tricky to set up if you've not used it before. Let's look at how to do that now. Returning to the Google Docs start page, I'll begin by opening an existing document. I can do this by moving my mouse pointer over it and clicking on it once. The easiest way to comment on a document is to start by selecting the text you want to comment about. I can do this by moving my mouse to the text I want to select in the document. I'll then click and hold my left mouse button and you'll see I can slowly drag my mouse over the text until it's completely selected. And if I now release my left mouse button, the words stay selected. To comment on this text, I now need to move to the icon bar at the top of the page. There are a number of icons shown here, but the one I'm most interested in is the small speech bubble with a plus sign inside it. If I click on that, a comment box appears, and I can add my comments directly into the text box. Once I'm happy with that comment, to confirm it, I'll click on the large blue comment button. You'll see that the text you commented on is now highlighted. This comment will be seen by anyone you've shared the document with. If you're not sure how to do that, check out the Google Docs guide shown above that explains how to do this. Another way to share a comment directly with an individual or group is to reference them in the comment. If I add another comment in the same way as before, I can alert other people to it directly using the at sign to reference their name. You'll see a list of suggested names are shown and you can choose any one of these. If you do reference an individual, you're also given the option to assign the comment to them for resolution, but this is optional. Once you're happy with your comment, to confirm that, click on the large blue comment button. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.